despite perhaps being best known for his media ownership and dominance, particularly in Western Australia, it's the construction and mining game that's really the money winner for Kerry Stokes. Before launching his old school cash takeover offer to shareholders, Seven Group already owned almost a quarter of Morrill. But Kerry Stokes wanted more of the building materials company that was on its knees after an ill-fated foray into the United States. And there's little guessing why. Programs like you know the Home Builder Program are absolutely accelerating the demand for things like boral products, particularly cement sheeting, etc. Around Australia's suburbs and cities, there's a common theme. They're full of work sites, construction data, the rising cost of materials and labour shortages all point to the rapid uptake in home and commercial building and renovations. And Boral is a key player in that market. Given the amount of capital that's potentially coming back, it certainly makes um, Borrow a pretty attractive um, acquisition target for Seven Group. But it hasn't been smooth sailing since Seven Group made its original offer of $6.50 a share. The Borrow board has urged its shareholders to reject the offer, claiming it undervalues the company, while at the same time securing a deal to sell off its North American building products assets for $3 billion, boosting its bottom line. That forced Kerry Stokes to increase his original offer, with a few caveats. If Seven Group acquired almost 30% of Borrell shares, it would pay $7.30 a share. It reached that target and the next one, which was nearly 35% ownership. So Seven Group will now pay $7.40 a share. Now the maximum price has been reached, it's likely more shareholders will accept the offer. They've got about another week to do so. Market watchers don't expect Seven Group just wants part ownership. You don't put that kind of investment into a company if you don't want to have you know, the full holdings. We do believe Borrow will become part of, will be 100% owned by Seven Group um, at some point in the future. Even if it takes time. If we look at the history of Seven Group, uh, they're making acquisitions. They certainly have been very patient um, buyers of many assets. The Borrell Board continues to urge its shareholders to reject the offer, saying it's too low, and some analysts agree. There would be suggestions that it might be, instead of being as high as $9.50 that some independents are sort of showing, in terms of the auditing, that it would be more likely about $8 to $8.50. The bid for Borrell might not be over just yet.